Another rainy day outside. Let's see if we can make a little more progress on old uh, Lieutenant Dan. All right, our little buddy Aaron is not with us. No, he's not. He's, uh, he's out working his real job or something he claims to be super important. Yeah, his real job. <laughs> Whatever that might be. But the show, the show must go on, folks. The show must go on with that little man. So uh, yeah, we're as bummed as you guys are, but we're gonna, we're gonna try to do something productive today since it's too wet outside to move any dirt. I think the first thing we need to do is we're gonna get the stacks out of here because we need to finish fabricating the mount for the tank and we need to get the bed raised so we can uh, get the valve in there. I don't know for sure. I don't know for sure how long about this. What do you think? You think we should weld the cross member in and then use it to lift them or weld the cross member on the ground and struggle getting them off? I don't think it would be a struggle. You don't want to mess up your beautiful green paint with welds. Well, water. that's what I'm. Well, I don't want to mess up my beautiful green paint by turning my stacks into a wrecking ball either. Oh, that won't happen. Come on, have a little faith in your picking abilities. I have no faith in my picking <laughs> abilities. <laughs> All right, why don't you, uh, why don't you work on getting the bolts out of there, and I'll see if I can't get something rigged up on the crane. Sounds like a plan. I already have the socket set. All right, we got some top-notch rigging going on. Matt claims he's got all the uh, bolts out of here. You ready to try it? I'm ready to try it. Let's, uh, let's see what happens. Oh, it's gonna come out everywhere. If anything goes wrong, we it's cannot tell Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be our little secret. Nothing's gonna go wrong. I like your attitude. We're good. There you go, it moved, moved about three quarters of an inch there. Yeah. Give it a little wiggle. There it comes. Yep. Yep. Uh, eight inches. Six inches. Two inches, getting ready to come free. You're free on my side, uh, free on your side. You are free and clear if you wanna go one, one way or the other. Go to the other side and walk her out of there. All right, left you guys behind for a second, so let me get you kind of caught up to speed a little bit. So the plan is to mount that hydraulic tank right in there. The challenges we face is all the ports come out the bottom as far as where the hydraulic, um, hydraulic system hooks up to it. So we got to shim that up enough to where we can get at least a 90 or an elbow on this thing and get it out of there. This thing also kind of has some goofy bracketry on there i'd just soon leave that if i could so this is the plan that i have come up with when we did the math on this as far as miss, missing the window we should have about six inches to play with so i've got some five inch tubing right here and i actually went ahead and welded some nuts inside there so that's hot Ooh, that's i just got that weld now that was hot that was not very smart so this will all make sense here in a minute, but basically there's two bolt holes in here. The bolts in that thing line up with that. That'll be a spacer block. The reason I welded the nuts in there is I want a nice clean look. So I cut out a bunch of these caps. We will weld on the end, I actually cut them out of the old tank right there. And we should be able to set that spacer block right on there. The tank will mount to that. The reason I welded the nuts I could have left that open, but I just think this is a much cleaner, nicer look. 
hopefully with that being anti-seize bolts and closed off we don't have any issues if, if, that, if that nut ever breaks off inside there we're really going to be hating ourselves and we're going to be wishing we went back in this part of the video it did something different but that's the best system i've come up with for now i've got all my pieces cut it's a matter of getting it mounted in there but before i do that i actually took the filler neck out i believe i'm going to roll this thing outside and uh we're going to kind of give her a good old-fashioned pressure washer or pressure washing or cleaning we got a lot of the metal shavings out of it whenever we uh, had the tank cut apart but i probably should have took a little more time to clean it i noticed this morning this thing's been sitting in the dirt there's a little bit of dirt down in there so let's uh let's take five minutes and uh pressure wash it out the best we can then we'll bring it back in here and see if we can make it fit not the best and safest setup but uh, it's better enough and it should work everything's kind of draining towards the one uh one drain hole over there so got the old power washer fired up let's uh see what happens Well, I definitely feel a little bit better about that. I'm sure there's still some stuff in there, but I got a lot of stuff out. And uh, well, I guess that's the importance of having a filter on the system, but I feel pretty good about it. Probably should have pressure washed it out before I put the top on, but uh, hindsight's always 2020, right? Next thing, we're gonna let that dry for a little bit while I take lunch. I get back from lunch. We're gonna see if we can get this whole system mocked up on there. So hopefully Matt will be back by then. He can give me a hand. And then uh, I'm hoping we can round up man behind the scenes to weld this thing off. If it fits. So what do you think about all those fancy pieces I bet while you were out playing around doing nothing important? Doing nothing important? I got two septic systems approved for us, thank you. That sounds horrible. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I think uh, I got I got pieces made. Yeah, and the nuts are welded in place. Well, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty pretty. You know, you could have went a little bigger with the hole. Uh, you use what bitch you got. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. So I think we need to, uh, you know what I didn't check? See what happens when I'm not here? Uh, and I don't even know what you're talking about. I didn't check if these holes line up with those holes. Well, we did mark them. Yeah, all right. I say we both, uh, how are we looking? Well, one's gonna line up no matter what. Yep. What about the other one? This is gonna be the question mark. Oh, that's close. Close enough that if you start them out there, I think it'll go. It's just a little hard to get your fingers in there. Yeah, so. I need an extension. Hold on, let me grab an extension. My very well organized toolbox over here. Should be one out here in the extension drawer. And uh, no, oh, look right there, freshly used. Got it. And I'll start it without the impact, just for you. Don't do it for me, do it for YouTube. Do it for YouTube. All right, so my thought process is we'll get uh, these bolted on and then we'll take that tab is bent. Let's see if I can hold you guys in my armpit right there. Is that going to work? That one. Please tell me that's starting. <laughs> Not yet. Hey, my side started. Did it? Yeah. Well, that must have been the one that I drilled the holes in, and this must be the one that you drilled. We got them on the wrong side. You think this one goes over there? It lined up, didn't it? It's true. All right, let us finish I think getting I've these. Got it. I just need a ratchet to confirm it before we end back. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get those bolted on there, and I think we'll take that and set it down in there, center it up. 
probably tack it off. And I did get some fittings. Let me go get those too. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. All right, we got our spacer blocks on. That system I think is gonna work pretty good. We had to do some finagling on this one. That one fit pretty good. I see one thing. What's that? You have one fitting that's a little crooked. And you being Mr. Perfect, it's a little crooked. No, nah, it'd be fine. <laughs> You're looking at it now, aren't you? It's, uh, I don't know. They're probably gonna have to be turned once they're in the truck. I don't know which way they're gonna have to go, but I figured it'd be easier to have them that far installed instead of, <laughs> they're gonna be a pain in the butt to get to. Let's just face the facts on this. So, I think at this point, let's, uh, let's make the, um, let's make it one. You did one thing for sure, and it's make this heavy tank heavier. Yes, this is true. All right, I guess let's set it in there, and then we'll take tape measure and center it. All right, tank is on, tank is placed. I'm liking what I see so far. We got pretty easy access to all of our fittings. Spacers look good. We're gonna be, we just did some measurements, that window, we are like. Right there. <laughs> we are, right there. we are right there. We're trying to figure out what we're gonna do up above this, but before we get too far ahead of ourselves, I think we need to go ahead and tack that off or it falls off on our toes, what do you think? I think that'd be a great idea. Mr. Millennial, we have bled over into another day. NY Millennial, we have bled over into another day. <laughs> <laughs> this would be so much easier if you just change your name. Well, then you'd start calling me NYN. I know how it works. This is true. <laughs> <laughs> so, the tank is tacked into place. I'm still hoping I can uh, round up Aaron to do some welding. If not, we'll tackle it. The next thing we need to do is I want to build something in here to kind of protect the back glass and take up this space. I think what we're gonna do is we got this tank set in about an inch and a half. I don't wanna put anything on top of here because we're going to uh, start getting into our window. So I think we're gonna take a piece of inch and a half tubing and run right along the back side of this. Take a piece of four inch tubing, run it up here, which will be the top and also give us a place to mount our light. And then possibly run some rebar or some key stock in between. So I think this is gonna be some trial and error method here. What do you think? I think we're gonna cut this 45 and see what it does. I think we need to let the saw cut the 45 and see what happens. Not sure if I got that piece of tubing in there far enough. Bring the blade down a little bit farther. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, nailed it, That'll nailed work. it. Where's your cutting agent? <laughs> I really need to clean my window so you can guys can see, but Todd from Truck Attractor showed up. <laughs> Man, that was horrible. What did you put that sign on the door oh, for? Oh, good morning. It's I brought you. you free stuff, but it's fine. Dogs molested me <laughs> up in the parking lot. And then I got to come here and look at that. <laughs> you know you can't show up. The damn that. dogs don't got any of the dogs. Them dogs have never even heard a mouse. Yeah. Look at this. You're, yeah. you're afraid of that. You ever, seen, you ever seen a Christmas story, the Bumpuses? That's what your dogs remind me of. <laughs> Welcome, Todd. Glad hey, you're back, thanks, buddy. Hey, thanks for having me up. Welcome back to Derby, Mr. Trucker Track. Well, it's, uh, I'm glad to be here, and uh, it looks like you've come a long way. Yeah, it's the first time you've seen it with a bed on it, isn't it? Yeah, it's the first time I've seen it with a bed on it. No, I'm not. I mean, I know this is a professional job, but uh, I'm not for hire, so. It, you know, I mean, I'm, overall, it looks fantastic. It looks great. Uh, you got the bed on, the, uh, the CA looks good, or how you're going to set all Are that you up. Are like you going to explain what that is? Well, there's a couple of formulas that go into putting a bed on. So the back of the cab, which you start with that, uh, you can actually go to the center of the axle. If it's a single axle, and you're gonna go to the center of the tandem, if it's a tandem. And what you're trying to do is, there's two things. One, you're trying to get the distance so your load 
80% of your load needs to be on the back and 20% of your load needs to be on the front because if you put more than that on the front, it'll drive horrible. It'll just drive down the road all over the place. So you're trying to get your load displaced. The second thing you're trying to do is, is get your dump angle right. So if you don't get the hinge welded in right, you don't get the cylinder put in right, it either won't dump enough, which is awful, you know, everything will stick in it and everybody will complain, or you'll dump too much and you'll roll the truck over and it'll be a great video. <laughs> a great <laughs> video way. for somebody else. So that is why I have been referring to these yeah. charts, exactly. uh, this whole build. So uh, this is proof I can read. Well, you know, it, an easy way to see if somebody did it right is to go back here and look at the back on the tan of the back wheel. And if that center of pin is kind of right on the edge of that radius of the tire, that's, uh, that's pretty good. So we're going from center of the pin right kind of in that radius. Yep. You did a really good job. So that's good. I hey, wish you had just a... I got, I got this. I got this, Todd. Don't worry about it. I'll go ahead and... Oh, that thing in the bathroom. Yeah. I don't know what was going on. We had to film that later. I'm not getting involved with that. But anyway. Uh, that was Cleveland's 40th birthday present. Well, it's in the bathroom. It's See, now, weird. I walked in there. I was like, what is going on? Now, so, now you know why we have it. You know, have you like, filmed that on? Have you it's, that? It's, uh, it's been on Cleveland's channel for sure. I'll show them here in a little bit. Yeah, you need to show them that. It's early in the morning and seeing that was kind of scary. But anyway, you're doing good. Everything looks good. All right. so, so you come, uh, I like whenever you come bearing gifts. Buyers products, we got with those guys, uh, buyersproducts.com, and they sent us some free stuff to put on Lieutenant Dan. So, uh, I mean, they hooked us up. So we got some lighting. This is a good story. I like they so, say how they, they, they hooked we up like you own part of the truck now. <laughs> I feel like I can get a ride out of it, a free ride. <laughs> I don't know about getting anything dumped out of it, but I can definitely get a ride in the truck. Which, by the way, is quite intimidating. I don't know if it really translates on film, but when you come through the shop door, and it's sitting there, that thing is huge. It gets your attention. That thing's right? a monster. Talk about scaring some old ladies going to church on Sunday. <laughs> that thing's a monster. I don't think they need the horn. I think they'll just get out of their way on their oh, own. Oh, no, that thing is a monster. But All anyway. right, so what we got? So the first thing, this is our number one seller on truckertrack.com, uh, 5626432. This thing does stop, turn, tail, backup, and strobe. One note, if you do put it in reverse, the strobe light will kick out for a couple reasons. One, it's super bright. And two, when you're trying to go in reverse and the strobe light's flashing, it makes it a little hard to back up. So, uh, but it does every function back of the truck. Now, one thing worth pointing out on this, this will pretty much use the factory wiring harness, but you will have to add one additional wire, correct? You will have to add a strobe wire, and I'll be quite honest with you, the, what you're doing on this, you're gonna have to clip the pigtail. I mean, okay. We always clip the pigtail, we just wire them indirect, just straight up. That's how we've always, they're not gonna be a plug and play, they're gonna be a clip and play. Gotcha. So it's not a huge deal, especially you have plenty of room in that tunnel and everything, so it's not a huge deal. But it's, I guess what I'm trying to point out is if somebody buys this off your website, they're not gonna be able to walk out to their truck and pop one out, pop one in. There's a little more work to it. There is that. a little bit more work to it. And you can tell by the way that it ships, you know, it's gonna come with all the wires it's, it's gonna have all that bare, so, you know, but you're gonna have to wire it indirect. Gotcha. Yeah, and it's not a big deal for us. We do that all the time at the shop, so not a huge deal. I don't do it personally. Let's, I was gonna say. Be honest. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie to you, I don't do it actually. Then the second thing, we got you, so we're gonna put four of these in the back, so you won't need any strobe lights in the rear. Okay. okay. Strobe, backup, turn, tail, marker, everything's built into that, so you're We good. got it all. You got it all. Next thing we're gonna have, we've got you four of these, and this is part number 8892242. No, I don't know all the part numbers. Thank you very much. So, uh, four strobes, they call it the credit card light. Super that thin. That thing is thin. Very thin. <laughs> now, when these first came out probably 10 years ago, you could actually break them. You could actually bend them and pop them. And then they added a metal back to them. And after that, I mean, will they pass the axe handle test? That what test? Will they pass the axe handle yes. test? We have whacked them. <laughs> it's horrible to say that, but anyway. Uh, but yes, they will. And, and they're super bright. Uh, the, it's going to have the white and the yellow. We do two colors. Remember, the eye on white, your human eye doesn't really see white that well. So if you do two colors, somebody's driving down the road, two colors really get somebody's attention. So uh, dual color light. It does come with this 3M adhesive, and I would use it. Uh, you use that, you go and stick that up there, you can use that as your holes to drill. Okay. And then peel the adhesive off and actually glue that up there and then finish. With a couple screws. Yeah, and then a key, that kind of seals off the back and it, it really holds it there. And nothing else, that makes a good template. Yeah, it makes a great template. So you can peel off one side, stick it up where you want it, 
drill all your holes, do everything, then peel the second layer of tape off and then stick the light to it. So, so do you know off the top of the head or do you want to discuss, do you know roughly what the value of this is on the website? I don't know exactly. That's a great question. And, and we do a download almost every day now. Metal prices change, uh, plastic prices change daily. Uh, our quotes only good from like cry steel are only good for uh, like 20 days or 30 days. I mean, it, it, everything's moving so rapidly. So basically, uh, truckertrack.com, type in the uh, part number. Right. And, um, right. and that's pop right. why the website, we set the website like it is. We had a uh, meeting with ITR the other day on the phone and they were talking about other people's websites and we would Google them while they're talking about them and uh, you know, doing a, a, a like a FaceTime. Uh, anyway, we were doing that and we typed in, we'd say, they don't have any pricing. Okay, you, you have to email, email me for a price, call me for a price. You don't have to do that on our site. You can go there day or night, anytime, and type it in and it tells you the price. That's that's what we did that. So they never had one example of somebody that's got guts enough to go and put all the pricing out there. And that's why <laughs> so we does that make you, do that. Does that make you smart or does that make you an idiot? If you buy anything from us on eBay, it makes me an idiot because I feel like <laughs> we lose money on eBay every time we sell something on eBay. We, eBay hates us with a passion. So anyway, we don't want to go to the eBay battle. But yeah, yeah, eBay, I lose, lose every time. All anyway, right. Move forward. So the second, I, we'll talk about this last because this is something new, but so camera system. We wanted to get you a quad screen camera system. Now- This looks way too fancy for a 1990s truck. It's gonna be fantastic. It's gonna be fantastic. Remember, all this stuff's 12 or 24 Do miles. I need to buy insurance on cameras? Have you seen my drivers? Give them a little money wouldn't hurt. A little insurance <laughs> policy wouldn't hurt. Anyway, so everything's gonna come with it. The, the cable, the camera, all that's included in here. Now I got you, three extra cameras so you'll have a total of four cameras so you awesome. can do one in the back one on the you know one on both sides you can do one out the front uh, we do a lot in the front for road departments because they try to you know putting on plows or nosing up to something but the sky's the limit you put them wherever you want now the first cable comes with this one we would probably run this to the back because that cable super long you put the cameras in the other positions you tell me how long it is i'll send you the cables so, uh, four so if I call if I call Todd, I said I need a forty six inch cable. Yeah. How many days am I waiting? Uh, just a couple of days. They got all that stuff in stock. Constantly. So they got it in stock. I just a matter of getting it shipped to you. Yeah, and I usually tell people the same thing. Like, hey, if you're buying a quad camera system, or do, you can do two if you want. You can do three. You can do whatever you want. I say, hey, just put the cameras up. Put the get your screen where you want it. Get everything done, and then hit us up with those links, and we'll get you. Because you cannot cut those. Those have to be a certain. So this point. is up to four cameras. Yes. Gotcha. Yeah, you can do four cameras. Okay. Night vision comes factory with night vision, and it has sound, so you can listen to it. And you can turn the sound off, but you can actually hear somebody say, "Hey, back up, back up, back up." Because it's something this big, you're not <laughs> going to hear somebody behind you. That thing is a monster. So you can, you know, you can hear somebody through the camera system telling you. So very, gotcha. very state of the art. And this is buyer's part number. What? That is buyer's part number eight 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 three zero four zero on the website all the time, all day long. So, and then the extra cameras are eight 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 thirty one zero one. Gotcha. I'll try okay. my best to link all that stuff in the yeah, description. Yeah, waterproof, so. night vision. These, <coughs> these cameras don't care. All right, these are super cool. So this is something new. It's not on the website yet. Part number 1492236. It's called an edgeless floodlight. Now, I've never lit one of these up before. We can we can light one up here real quick, but if you can that look is, in there. Uh, I don't know if the camera shows that. That is wicked looking. It is pretty cool looking. So what's the, what's the advantage of it? I guess it's just a lot more sleek and compact. Well, I'm thinking, and I'm not, I, we just got these. Buyers send us stuff all the time. So we'll, we'll have a box come in randomly and shipping will come up front like, what is this? And it's just a new product. Uh, number one, this thing is super small. I don't think it has the size on it, three inch. So this is three inch. This is 5,000 lumens. We used to get the eight inch lights that were 5,000 lumens. This thing should be bright as so I'll get So a out. lot of power. It's a, a lot of bright. And I think too, with the LEDs being sunken in the corners and, and flying out, it's not, it's gonna give you a I don't know if you guys can see the LEDs, tilt it back just a little bit, Todd. The LEDs are mounted up there. 
there's four of them there's one down here and then the, this is basically just reflective material in here so i think when you turn this on it's going to flood an area and it's not going to have any you know like when you have a light it you know you have right, a right. square it's not it's going to be just a huge floodlight so i thought it'd be pretty cool lieutenant dan i mean you could put them in the back for backup lights or you could put them in the front yeah. for more lights or or down the sides i've always found on a dump truck down the sides especially at night trying to back one up down the sides absolutely where you kind of see uh get your sight lines but uh anyway super cool uh metal backed all all metal construction and that ought to really be a cool light so i can't wait to see you put those on and see what happens but yeah again they're coming to the site they're just not there yet well I, well you said you'd never lit one of these up. no i've never lit one up well you know what we're gonna hear you stare at that end okay and let me Let's hook it right yeah up. let me it looks intimidating lucky for you i've got one of these things right here Let's uh, I feel like you're gonna have to have some help. Oh, uh, yeah, well, hold on. Here, just, I'll tell you. All right, you ready for this? I'm ready. Why do you act like a bomb's getting ready to go off? Because I feel like a bomb's getting ready to go off. <laughs> Let there be light. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, that's uh, uh, that's super bright. That's bright. Yeah, that is uh, and like we were talking about, that that gives you a huge view. I know it, it's hard to push. Why are you showing thing. everybody how dirty my wall is? Guys, you would not believe the stuff that's laying around in here. I kicked two pairs of safety glasses when I walked through the door. <laughs> By the way, no thanks for the sign out there. That was a I'm about to put all my stuff back in the truck and left. Uh, I, will, I will not show this sign out of respect, but uh, we uh, said welcome and then we put the name of Todd's competition. <laughs> thanks a lot. Do you have a competitor on uh, YouTube? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> If I find out, I'll put a side. <laughs> yeah, that'd be awesome. So, yeah. But anyway, well, this is everything from Buyers Products. So we'd like to thank Buyers Products for hooking us up and uh, and putting all this stuff on. I can't wait to see it in action. Yeah, I'm excited. This uh, the the truck is slowly we're slowly building progress on it. We got the PTO mounted. We got the hydraulic pump mounted. We got the bed mounted. So real quick, just a reminder: all this stuff is available except for the the new lights, which are going to be available. They're going to be available. Everything is on truckertrack.com. All you got to do is punch in the part numbers, or you can go in there and type in lighting, uh, or you can call us or email us anytime. But the website's 24 seven. You can go in there anytime you want to and see any of these parts, get pricing, availability, all that stuff. Is the promo code still good? All right, let's talk about that. So I had to limit it to one use. Thanks a lot. Because you had some guys on there that were nailing me. Multiple what? use. You said send you customers, and I said, Todd, have some customers. We call it the Michael Simon rule. <laughs> Don't give Michael Simon the cast code because he's going to give it to everybody. They're going to multiple use it. That's the purpose of... Well, what, you have one time only, folks. One time only. Use the dirt code one time. And once you use it, we know your URL number, and we won't let you use it again. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, there is a promo code to say, what is it, 5%? 5% off, yep. So if you use promo code DIRT on the website, you will save 5%. But Todd's advice is, is to use it wisely on your big purchase. <laughs> yeah, use it wisely on your big purchase. Yeah, thanks to those guys that used it 50 times. Thanks a lot. <laughs> so, hey, maybe that was that me. No. <laughs> All right, Todd. All right, man. Thanks, thanks for everything. Thanks for having me on. Thanks for buyers. We appreciate it. we got to go back and do some... Uh, Fab work, and hopefully by Christmas we'll have this thing lit up like yeah, a Christmas tree. Yeah, we'll that's have the, it lit up. It'll that's the good. plan. It'll be, a, it'll be ready for a good parade. <laughs> I'm excited. We're getting closer. All right, we finally got Todd right out of here. We got our first piece cut. Our second piece is cutting. You want to raise this thing up here, and we'll see how she fits. Yeah, we're ready. Rule number one: don't knock over the stacks. Yeah, you're the one who disconnected. Up we go. After wiggling this thing in here, basically we have come to the conclusion to keep man behind the scenes complaining about our fitment, we're gonna need to take about, what, three eighths? Between a quarter and a three eighths. It's just, it's just a little bit long, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So we're gonna lower that one down, put it back in the saw, and then I think we're gonna go ahead and tack this one off. Exactly a quarter. Yeah, a quarter, a quarter inch just makes all the difference in the world. Yeah, it sure does. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna cut that one. I think we can go ahead and tack this one in while we're waiting on that other one to cut. What do you think?
Man, look at that. She is coming together nicely. Everything is uh, fitting in there just as anticipated. So we're not gonna tell Aaron. I'm hoping, I'm hoping I can round Aaron up the weld this far because he's better than I am. I really don't want to. I didn't really know what to do right here. We kind of had a little bit of a goofy gap. So I made some little pieces to go in there, but we're definitely gonna let Aaron complain about that long and hard first, and then we'll show him the pieces. We also decided to make, what are we gonna call these, spindles? I mean, that's legitimately what they are, right? So the plan is, is we're gonna put these in here. What does it end up being, like every uh, three and a half inches or something? Oh yes. 60 at it's 3.75 that's three and three quarter you got it to make them equally spaced because we can't have an odd odd dimension on one end or the other but so. we do have an odd number so 17 <laughs> of them <laughs> so basically we got them all marked out down here on center got them all marked out up there on center i believe that is the last piece of fab work on this other than getting it welded out so let's pop these spindles in here real quick and see where we go to next Tell you what, Matt, I am liking, I am liking the way that is looking. Me too. I think that's gonna be, that's gonna be sharp. We're gonna let, uh, hopefully Aaron can show up and weld this thing out like I mentioned, and we're probably gonna hold off on painting this until we get it back on the truck. Just make sure there's not any other bracketry or random things we need to tack onto it. It's not a huge deal to take it on and off. So I think that's pretty much at a standstill until we uh, round up the little man. All right, so while we're waiting on Aaron, the next thing we want to do is we need to get this bed raised up. We need to get this bed raised up because there's a valve that gets mounted down there and some plumbing. Now, if you guys remember our factory tour, they actually mount the valve before they put the bed on. That's the smart thing to do. But they put the same bed on the same truck over and over and over again so they know where that valve needs to be. I have no idea where we can mount this valve at because we got a transfer case and a whole lot of different stuff going on. So we went ahead and elected to put the bed on first and the valve on second. But we need to get the bed raised up as much as we can. Obviously we don't have the hydraulics hooked up because that's what we've been working on. So we got the crane rigged up inside there. And uh, we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna hope the crane lifts it up enough to dump it. Hey, there's no hope of prayer in this shop. It's gonna work. It's gonna have to work. <laughs> that, we're gonna have to go find a little orange pumpkin skid steer to give us a hand. So I did go through here. They welded all these tabs on uh, for transport. I got all that cut off. So uh, let's, uh, let's see what happens. You ready to push the up button? It's like I'm standing on my soapbox up here preaching or something. Oh, you never stop preaching, so. You're always on a soapbox. Here we go, you ready? I'm ready, let's see ha what happens. It's the first time Lieutenant Dan's gonna attempt to dump. Oh boy. We just gotta take the crane with us to the job. Hey, did you make sure there's clearance on the backside? Uh, I'll tell you in there. <laughs> Going up slowly. Oh, I see a gap. It going? It's going. It's going. How's how's the uh, well, crane? I'm not sure if I got a hook low enough. I think I need to hook it lower. How high do you need to go? I don't have to get the big head or anything. Well, you don't have enough room for that. <laughs> Take two on this. I pulled the plug out of the cylinder so we're not sucking a vacuum on it. We got the crane hooked a little bit lower in the bed. 
see what happens. Let's do it. Get back up on the soapbox here. I told you, you're never off of your soapbox. Why the soapbox though? Uh, well, heck, I don't know. Someone needs to explain that in the comments. I don't get that. Probably help a little bit, huh? Getting ready to get loud. the age-old problem <laughs> we got it up we got to keep it up <laughs> <laughs> it's not quite high enough to get the safety latch underneath so now what do we do make a safety latch i think we're gonna make a safety latch all right folks we're gonna make a safety latch <laughs> if we want to use our factory safety device we're gonna have to raise the roof of the shop i think it's easier just to make so it. we manufactured our own safety device uh custom 16 and a half degree angle and all Look at that, thing of beauty. Now, uh, we should have probably seen it if it's fit before we hit record. <laughs> huh, well, let's go for it. All right. It's upside down, for starters. I know, I'm flipping it. It'll only go one way, Mr. Millennial. And that's not the way. Keep turning. Oh, oh, there we go. Now put it right in the middle. Center it up. Tilt her back a little bit. There we go. Now. I say for secondary safety, let's uh, throw some wood blocks in back here and then we'll have the best of both worlds. What do you think? Sounds like a game plan. We're gonna modify our prop a little bit. See this distance offset right here? That's what we have to do to get this to come down square. I don't want this thing in here at an angle. I don't want to point low on the floor. I don't want a chance for it to slip. Uh, the safety prop's just not something we want to really kind of half butt. So we're gonna basically make a shoe to go on top of that. It should uh, hopefully fix a lot of our problems. Now that is a custom safety prop right there. 100%. New and improved. Even smells new. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if it fits. <laughs> see if she fits. I'll be scratching the paint. Yeah, you're gonna get over that. <laughs> oh yeah, that looks nice, don't it? Looks real good, eh? All right, coming down, you ready? Yeah, ready as I'll ever be. That's it. She is that hook. Got our safety blocks back in there as an insurance plan. I like it. All right, temporary prop is in. I have found the bracket and we have found the valve. And I've also found me. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got a lug at what you've been doing without me, but... It's top-notch fabricating. Is it? Is it? You were about two hours away from me becoming a welder, you know that? Really? Yeah. Well, <laughs> it was getting close. We were down in the nitty-gritty. Hey, I was welding today. Huh? As well. I'm, I, today, I guess today I'm a boilmaker by day, and I guess fabricate well. I'm not... I'm, 
welder by night, so I'm really boiler making you <laughs> yeah. tonight. Except it's <laughs> it's not really a boiler. It's so not a boiler. check out our fancy work here, bud. Smokestacks. Yeah, smoke it is a smokestack. Smoke well. So so what do you think? We got uh, we got spacers for the tank. We got end caps to go on. You yeah. should be very familiar with this. It's it's like jail bars. Got the oh oh, oh man oh that's, oh, oh, oh that's yeah. Not, I don't know who tacked that. I don't, don't either. Everything's nice and tight and tidy, easy to weld. That. Huh? Yeah. It, this is right. This is the only thing I've seen out of all this. You know, I this think right I mentioned here. in a previous part of this video, Man. I'm sure you said if you can stick your finger in it, you can weld it. Yeah. If I can step across it, I can weld it. Hey, That's what this, I said. This but right here proves, was, proves that I like that you. You were thinking of me. Yes. So, look at yeah. that. Look at that. Look at that. That is going to be... That is just going to be beautiful. Be beautiful. You know who so, else you missed today? Who else? Todd now? come to visit. Oh, really? He bought us all kinds of presents. Did he? Cameras and lights and and he talked a lot because that's what he does. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. I think we did pretty good fabricating. What do you think? Not bad. Or, it's Ooh, quick, I quick. I just, I, yeah, quick. I better let that go. <laughs> <laughs> um, you done yet? So, you done yet? You done yet? I'm waiting on you. <laughs> no, actually, you're waiting on me. All right, we're waiting on you. Yeah. All right, we're gonna turn turn Aaron loose and let him do some welding. Well, man, behind the scenes, I'll give you, I'll give you an A minus. It is an A minus. I don't see, I don't even go B. Plus. I mean, you had an A plus fab job. Hey, record time, no. Hey, well, yeah, it's uh, give me an A for time. I'm not, I couldn't find the spot on the scorecard for efficiency. Yeah. You think that'd be pretty high on the list? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, and uh, somebody let me run out of gas. Hey, I had more gas on standby. Yes, you did. You, you did. No. Still stays over where the bottles are, where it should have been like right here, ready to go, like NASCAR fast. You know, speaking of NASCAR fast, it's like one o'clock in the morning right now. Well, yeah. We, <laughs> so, hey, I say we see if this thing fits. I don't know about you, but I got and, working. And if it don't fit, we're just gonna act like this didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why it wouldn't fit. It come off the truck. So, all right, to the truck we go.
man behind the scenes, I am extremely pleased with the way that fits. I am too. That, that uh, really good. I like how the I'm tank. Glad you listened to me. Well, I'm glad you weren't here so we could do it our way. <laughs> <laughs> I like how the tank kind of fits down behind, or this kind of fits down behind there. I think we may uh, have Junior from SOT Metalworks cut us some sort of decorative piece to go here to kind of fill in that blank spot. But it looks like we're gonna have, I mean, all of our plumbing is gonna be super easy to get to. We just gotta get our valve. I'm just, I'm rambling because I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Yeah. That is, uh, that is one step closer. One step closer. One step closer. So. Like everybody's kind of hoping you'd have it done by now. <laughs> I'm working on it, people. I'm working on it. <laughs> you guys, unfortunately, that's where we're probably gonna wrap this video up. We are running out of time again. Hopefully in the next video, we will figure out where and how to get that valve mounted. I kind of held off on that because I also need to figure out how much control cable I got to get to the cab of the actual control up there. And there's pre-made hydraulic hoses, so I need not to rush that. I need to put a little time and thought into where that goes. But the valve and the plumbing, this thing should be a dumper. Should be a dumper, so. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. If you did, if you don't care to give the video a thumbs up, Go ahead and subscribe if you want to see the rest of this project, uh, hopefully completed in a timely manner. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed, and we will catch you on the next one. That's all you got to peace out. It's 1 o'clock in the morning. It is 1 o'clock in the morning. All right. <laughs> How about good night? That sounds good.